Hey, I'm Maciek. Thanks for watching. We're going to go over the Redfin Data Center. What's going on in Florida with the real estate market? This is not my regular Sarasota market update. This is taking a bigger look, a more of a bird's eye view on what's really going on in Florida. All right, let's get started here. So we are on Redfin right now and uh, let's go over some of the numbers that they're showing. So first we're gonna go to the main overview section and you can just, by the way, go on uh, this URL right here. Um, this is a, a great resource. So let's just get right into it. First of all, year over year, our median sales price has gone up. Um, I do feel that yes, that is true. We had a very big run up in uh, 2022 at the very beginning and then a s slight pause at the end of 2022 and now we're on a decline so just uh, we're still on a on a plus year over year um, however you know year over year the number of homes sold look at this it has gone down 35 percent also the median days on market it's uh, increased 22 days and now it's at 53 i mean that's like what 40 percent that's 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 huge right now this is a year over year i'm not the biggest fan of using year over year data uh as if you watch my other videos you know that but you know it's still good data because uh any data every piece of data helps in understanding the market so here we're looking at the five-year chart of uh, where the median sales price was. And, you know, as you can tell, uh, this median sales price is on a decline since mid-2022, just like I said. But since the pandemic started in March, look at this run-up. Look at that. That's just crazy. So what was that in, in March? It was right around, you know, five, I'm sorry, 275. And right now we're just under, you know, 400 at 386. So this is showing me a downtrend line right now. And January ticked up just slightly since December, but I'm willing to bet it's going to be going down probably slowly over the next, uh, you know, next few months and a year or two. Okay, so the next part is about the metro areas in Florida that are growing at the fastest pace. And my area, Sarasota, is not here. Um, North Fort Myers, that's the East Coast. As you can tell, you know, there's quite a bit of not East Coast of plant cities nearby. Um, but, you know, basically the crazy. East Coast, uh, Southeast, have, you know, is, is, is kind of growing pretty, pretty fast here. Year over year. Um, next right is, now we're let's having talk a about lot our supply drops. I see them. So, year over the year, time. we I have mean, all the time. I can't even that's stress how again, many price drops uh, we have and they're not drastic, crazy they're right? not like you know 50 um, percent or anything silly they're just little two percent price drops so um this is how it starts so, and then as desperation kicks in a, it gets more aggressive and now we're finally coming and back this is a very healthy of end of uh, number so we, this is we're still good here you know we're at 96.61 sales that's kind of the level price but that means I, that once again i'm listed at a hundred thousand dollars up it's going to sell for 96,000 back to you know that's this area general idea of this and this area by the way the the feeling in the market at this point in time was that we're about to hit a shift we're 99 percent uh so you could barely get any discounts at all now you're finally getting to a healthier level um we're going to start having price reductions we're going to have a lot more inventory but that's not what happened look inventory just kept going down and that's because of covid right here so uh, the next thing is, uh, you know, year over year, we have uh, less homes being listed. I'm, I'm not sure about this data point right here, but months of supply is a really, really important one. And we have five months of supply on a state level. So uh, my local level is uh, like two months of supply. Two, no, I'm sorry, it's three months. It just passed three months. So this right here is alarming. Why is it alarming? Because six months is that equilibrium point where we have a balanced market and these balanced markets never last more than a day it's always going to be this way or that way right i mean it's uh, basically five months of supply is a uh, perfect scenario where buyers and sellers have equal negotiation uh, uh, advantages so so you know <laughs> we're getting there i bet you anything just last month this was less than this you know this whole thing all right, now let's go into the Florida housing demand. And it's showing that just, uh, you know, year over year, we're at 11% of the homes sold. 
sell for over list price. And uh, that's 20% less than, uh, than last year. That's crazy. Next stat is homes with price drops. Look at this increase. It increased 18.5 percentage points to 31.4. So that's over, you know, double that it increased. How many homes are having price drops? And that's a lot of homes. Next one is list price to sales price ratio. So if you have a home for, you know, uh, $1 million listed, uh, you can expect to get $966,000 for it, right? That's the list price. But look at the price drop. There's not many percentage points between 100 and 96.6. And there's 3.4 and it's 2.4 year over year uh, lower. And this is probably going to continually decrease where the list price to sales price ratio is going to get down. It's not going to get to like 80 or anything like that, but it, I'm pretty sure it's going to get down to about 95 or so uh, within the next year or so. Uh, it all depends on the delusion of the sellers, if I could say that really. Um, but here's what, what I want to go back to. I want to go back to the number of homes, the percentage of homes sold above uh, list price and look what happened pandemic hit here right hit us here um, and they were slowly 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 and then we had this crazy ramp up right here crazy ramp up again and it right here may of 2022 look down here we had 43% of homes sold went for above asking 43.8% 40.6%. And now, look at this, it's just getting lower and lower and lower and lower. So this is an important metric. It just shows you really how much overall demand we have. And next is the uh, top 10 most competitive cities. So the ones that are basically the ones that have the you know highest number here. Um, and my area is Sarasota. Sarasota is not on the list here, but uh, this isn't far away. Pinellas Park, just a little bit north of us. You know, as you can tell, um, the, these are kind of scattered everywhere, but they're more on the uh, west coast uh, here. I don't know all these areas, uh, quite honestly, but. I I do know quite a bit of them. They're, they're not too far, about three hours from us. All right, next one is migration trends. And this is interesting because we have a high inbound. Look, Florida literally has the highest color inbound. So we have, we, you know, I can't say we're exempt from what's going on in the national real estate market, but we are definitely an outlier in what's going on. So top 10 areas people are moving to look at that number nine and the entire nation by the way the entire nation sarasota is here and so is miami so is tampa that's an hour north of us so is orlando two hours north of us cape coral is just south of us one hour i mean people are moving to florida so look at what we have here we have texas texas florida 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 <laughs> four five fifty percent of all of the uh, where people are moving to is in florida and where people are moving from none of them are florida but we do have a couple californias here um, and obviously california and new york were big migration uh, and also chicago i had a few clients from chicago come down all right so this is just all good info to know and i really hope this has been helpful i'll be doing these once in a little while uh, to kind of show you what's going on in the whole florida region in the market and uh, in my opinion it's looking like it's all on a downtrend right now i don't want to say it's all doom and gloom but it's not like it used to be so Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. I'd appreciate it.